The MLB Awards finalists were announced today by Major League Baseball. Today, I'm going to give you guys my personal picks. Doesn't mean these guys are going to win. These are just going to be my personal picks of who I believe should win the awards. Starting off with the manager of the year in the American League. Bruce Bochy, Brandon Hyde, and Kevin Cash. A couple of AL East managers, and we got Bruce Bochy. Bruce Bochy leading the Rangers out of retirement to a World Series championship. Now, these awards to know are voted on before the postseason begins. If you did not know that, they vote literally the next day after the regular season ends. So the postseason has no wins or not. Bochy was great this year for Texas. Kevin Cash pretty much did what he always does, in my opinion, with the Rays. They go through some adversity there with Tampa, but did what he does. But Brandon Hyde, Brandon Hyde to me is the clear and away for a winner. Any other year, it might have been Bruce Bochy. And I think Bruce Bochy is a well deserving candidate to win. But Brandon Hyde led an Orioles team that lost 100 games a couple years ago, led him out of this dreaded rebuild. Nobody expected Baltimore to be as good as they were this year. And so Brandon Hyde, for me, for AL Manager of the Year. In the National League, you got Craig Council of the Milwaukee Brewers, formerly of the Milwaukee Brewers, now the Chicago Cubs, was just announced today that he went to the Cubbies. So that's a pretty shocking move. I know if you're a Brewers fan, you probably don't like that move at all. Skip Schumacher of the Miami Marlins, as is Brian Snicker of the Atlanta Braves. I understand Brian Snicker. Usually there's a manager that wins 100 games or whatever, he has the best record. He usually is on this list. And so Brian Snicker did that, not only the National League, but all of MLB. Great feet, Braves are really good this year, but he's not gonna win it in my eyes. Console was good for the Brewers, a mediocre team at best. They, they did win the division with 90 plus wins. But to me, it's gotta be Schumacher. And me, it is gonna be Skip Schumacher, let a, a Marlins team that I thought would be last place, the postseason. They led them to the postseason. So Skip Schumacher, first year manager of that, did some great things with the Marlins this year. And so I think he deserves to win that award. Moving on to the Cy Young now, to the National League side of things. But the Cy Young, we got an all NL West Cy Young battle here. So I like to see that as an NL West fan. Blake Snell, Zach Gallon, and Logan Webb. You guys, I'm pretty familiar with of the Padres, Diamondbacks, and Giants. Blake Snell had a phenomenal season in his contract year. Blake Snell already has won the award before. Logan Webb quietly put together a good season. One of the more underrated pitchers, in my opinion, in the game of baseball. It doesn't really get talked about much on the mediocre Giants team, but more people got to pay attention to Logan Webb because he's pretty electric out there when he does take the mound. Zach Gallon, America kind of saw Zach Gallon this postseason, what exactly he is, who he is, what he does on the mound. Good pitcher, he gets on his game, uh, he's a really good pitcher. But to me, Blake Snell is going to be your winner. Um, was just really dominant this year. He's a really big five and dive guy, but besides that, really, really dominant. The league in walks, had a ton of strikeouts at the same time. So Blake Snell was just super dominant all year. He's my pick for the National League Cy Young Award. American League, we got Garrett Cole, Kevin Gosman and Sonny Gray as the candidates. Sonny Gray put together a nice season for the Minnesota Twins. They didn't get talked about much, but quietly put together a good season, just like Logan Webb in the National League. It was a really close one to call. I'm looking at the stats and all that, just thinking back on the season. It was a really close one to me between Sonny Gray and Garrett Cole. Kevin Gosman had the most strikeouts in the league, I'm pretty sure, but 316 area, which is not bad. It's definitely not bad, but uh, Cole and Gray had sub re areas, so. I get the slight edge to Cole and Gray on that edge, but Gosman had a phenomenal season in his own right. A ton of strikeouts, racked him all up. Very cool. I don't believe it's ever won the Cy Young Award, which is pretty crazy. I don't think he has, so don't quote me on that. If it in fact it is his first Cy Young, I think he's well deserving and he's my pick for the American League Cy Young. On to Rookie of the Year, staying in the American League side, Tristan Costas, Center Henderson, Tanner Bibby. So I feel like Josh Jung got some disrespect here. I know he was injured for the last couple months of the season, yeah, that, that does take a toll. Josh Strong was really good when he was in there. He's always a great ball player. And maybe put together a good year for the Guardians. He's an okay pitcher. Not going to win this award. Casas put together a good season for the Red Sox. But again, I think just looking at this board here, Gunnar Henderson is obviously going to win this. Sock if he doesn't win this. So to me, it's going to be Gunnar Henderson. A lot of the hype around him, obviously, because of coming up as a top prospect for the Baltimore Orioles. He played good. He has a lot to improve on, but... There's a lot of upside there with Gunnar Henderson, so I think Gunnar Henderson is going to win this. And then the National League, we got a Dodger. A Dodger is nominated on this list. First, James Altman. So James Altman makes the cut for the top three National League Rookies of the Year, along with Corbin Carroll and Kodai Senga. So Kodai Senga signed a big contract with the Mets coming over from overseas, and he pitched really well. A bad Mets team, he was one of the lone bright spots for the Mets. Altman came in covering this guy, Cody Bellinger, 
Uh, he did all right. He's no Cody Bellinger by any means. Didn't live up to a Bellinger's rookie of the year. Fine out there with the Dodgers. So James Altman, a well-deserving candidate. I think he, he was really hot and cold all season long. He'd go on a hot stretch for a month and go absolutely ice cold for two months and then get really hot for a month and then cold for it. So he was really hot and cold player. He's got to fix like winter next year. The runaway winner here is going to be Corbin Carroll. Is going to be your national rookie of the year unanimously? I'd be pretty shocked if it isn't unanimous. So Corbin Carroll, the electric player. I don't need to say much about Corbin Carroll. The resume speaks for itself. Really fun player to watch. Great season for the Diamondbacks going all the way to the World Series. So and finally, the National League MVP. Two Dodgers are represented in this list out of three players. Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts from the Dodgers and Ronald Acuna Jr. from the Atlanta Braves. You're not going to see Dodger homer take here. It's going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. as the MVP. Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman, phenomenal duo there with the Dodgers at the lineup one two order. They had a phenomenal seasons, but Ronald Acuna Jr. just had a better season. He had a, a historic season, did Acuna, as did Freeman and Betts' career, but Ronald Acuna Jr. just really stepped onto the scene as i talked about a couple of videos ago and he really arrived in the game of baseball as the face as one of the top faces just like judge did last year of baseball on Cunha jr is a absolute superstar and uh, he's well deserving of the mvp if in fact he does win it i'd be i'd be kind of shocked if he doesn't but i'd be pretty happy if the dodger somehow comes away with it as well in the american league we got shohei otani and two texas rangers so kind of interesting i don't remember the last time we saw two teams in two leagues represented out of the six spots. So four of the six spots are from the same teams. I'm not sure the last time we saw that. Shohei Otani, Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager. Pretty good list on the MVPs. The Rangers, just like I said with the Dodgers, had a phenomenal season as far as the regular season goes and the postseason for the Rangers especially. Corey Seager was an absolute monster. This was a career year for Corey Seager. He was injured for a portion of it, but my oh my, if he stayed healthy for 162, you might be talking about Corey Seager winning the MVP, but unfortunately he's not. Marcus Simeon put together a good season as well for the Texas Rangers. Top of the lineup guy for the Rangers. Kind of does it all. Plays a good defense. Integral part of their lineup. Maybe show Otani as my MVP pick of the American League. I really would like to take Seager here, but it's got to be Otani. I mean, the guy pitches, the guy hits at a level that we've never seen before. And unfortunately, the season was cut short. Your runaway winner for the American League MVP, and we shall see. Who picks up the prize possession and show with Tony this offseason? Those are my picks for the MLB awards. They are set to be announced next week. So I thought I'd just give my opinion on who I believe should win the awards off of what I saw this season. So with that being said, let me know your picks down below in the comment section. With that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Later.